Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hi, Truth is Freedom. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, so. Today I'm in a bit of a funny mood. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck's going on with me. But I, um, I'm grumpy. And I thought, you know what? Why not just... Get some of that sassy rage out by watching some shanny. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, um, yeah, I don't really have any announcements other than thank you guys for being here and I freaking love you guys, man. <laughs> well, someone saved me from myself today. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So, we're gonna start with a video called a Rage Stream. Um, and it's. Sorry. Let me put you down. That must have been really loud. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. Truth, I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, right, so we're gonna do rage stream if you can't hear me please let me know and i will shush it um right let's do this so this might be me hormonal or me emotional or whatever or me pms and i really don't care at this point Right. I am so sick of people hitting up my DMs, pretending they care for me, pretending they're my friend, and then I find out, oh look, they're part of the bully clan. Oh look, they watch bully channels. Thanks, oh look, Trif. they watch Appreciate channels it. that tear people down and not edify them. Do you even watch what I- do you even hear what I say? You like to complain about being bullied by people but yet you condone and you watch you what you quote unquote your favorite youtuber is a bully channel a bully channel bruh <laughs> don't come to me crying to me talking about bullying and how you relate to me over being bullied then you go ahead in the same breath and watch bully channels and say they're your favorite channel don't what even don't even and, and don't, don't pretend even. you're going to be friendly with me when i hear this crap don't even because i won't let you in my life anymore there's a huge wall between you and me now huge wall because you weren't you weren't uh, bullying me you were bullying my friend in fact someone who i consider my best friend exactly you we call it entertainment him. And I don't, don't appreciate <laughs> I don't appreciate giving so much time to support someone, to love on someone, to care for someone. Yikes. To find out they're no different than all the rest of the bullies in the world. No, you ain't gonna be in my life if I see that. You're not gonna be in my life if I discover you're a bully. You know why? But you're a bully. You're not real. You're fake. You're you not to are. be trusted. Because if you- Shannon, you're the big, fucking biggest bully out there. Come on, dude. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't, don't, don't make me correct you so early on in the stream. You complain about bullying while bullying others? You're a hypocrite and a liar and the truth is not in you. Same, same, bro. It is For not you. in you. And it's not right. It's not right what you're doing to others. It's not right what I'm you're doing so to sick of this your world. kids. So to sick what of you've it. done to Jason. So sick and tired that these anybody, fakes, phones, your parents. frauds can get all the attention they possibly want. They can go ahead and lie and say they're not going to do something and then do it and then come back and say, yeah, I did it. I meant it at the time when I said I didn't do it, but I did it anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with them either. 
I'm not going to deal with people who make it their channel to talk about others. I don't want you in my life. Why do you give us so much airtime then? Like, why do you, why do you care so much? Why do you react like this if you're not going to fucking give them attention? Ugh, whatever. Bye, hey, bye no one really matters but cats. You're talking about others behind their back? I'm not going to allow you into my world. I'm not going to allow you into my being because I fundamentally oh, someone, someone told disagree with some it truth. in a moral <laughs> level. I actually have integrity, okay? If someone no. I find out is a bully, no, I will leave you behind in bully <laughs> status. You can go ahead and turn around on me. You can go talk all the shit you want with me. You can go and release all the DMs you probably will on me just so you can feel better in your own little world that you got caught for bullying. But all I was doing was supporting. All I was doing was edifying. Yikes. You want to make okay. fun of people? You really want to act like a child. That is childish to make fun of people. It is childish. My sons are 13 and 15, and they have a better attitude on this than you. They're more mature than grown adults who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. They are you. more mature about it. I guess. <laughs> We're no. laughing at you, though. If I catch you going to the bully channels, you're gone out of my life. If I catch you talking behind my back, you're gone out of my life. If I catch you, you talking about my friends behind their back and go into bully channels of theirs, I will throw you out of my life so quickly without thinking. Because you don't deserve to be in my world if you're going to talk behind my back or my friend's back. You tell them. You tell them, gal. Show I'm them not. who's boss. I'm not tolerating it. I have no tolerance for bullying. None. None. I don't Guys need it in my life. This. I don't want it don't in their life. Her. And if I catch you bullying, you're out of my life. Don't even support Because I bullies. don't condone with it. And I don't want people <laughs> like that in my life. You should. Uh, people complain. Why are you blocking me? Why are you bullying then. me? There is a big question. Wait, Why are I don't you think, laughing okay, at so someone? I don't think that I'm necessarily a bully. I just think... I'm being mean. Whatever. I mean, <sighs> trying to understand the dynamics of what commentary channels do is a bit complicated for me. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, no one really matters what cats. Like, I, I just, yeah, I, I said it. She's fucking, she's bullied so many people, including her family, like, and her parents and shit. Like, why the fuck should we care what you say, you fucking giant bully? One. Why are you making fun of someone? Huh? 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 Why? Your life is so low that you have to make fun of others to make yourself feel better? How about you do the opposite stance and edifying and raising people to heights? I was told exactly. my friend no one really was matters. vile and disgusting because they saw a video exactly. about him once. Once! So that's how you collect information? You look at what other people say about others instead of going to that person and talking to them and getting to know them? And then, <laughs> and then you're okay? So nice to have a mother that loves me. <laughs> uh, my own doesn't really. Um, thanks for listening. I love you too. She does devour souls. You, you were one of those Fucking people that actually them. apologized. I'm sorry. I had a bad impression for you. Ow. Gee. And here you are doing it to my friend. Maybe you should change your mentality a little. Maybe you shouldn't trust people who don't know people on the internet and believe that just because they put a video together, they know that person. Maybe I never claimed to know you. Whoa there, I never claimed to know you. In fact, I'm notoriously shit at Shani Law, but I just find you fucking entertaining because all you do is rage and say the most outrageous shit. Damn. 
Because you know what? These reaction channels, these bully channels, they lie about people constantly and invalidate what they say. And they get everyone all stirred up with hatred and pain. And you guys keep asking, who am I talking about? None of your fucking business. How about that? None of your fucking business. Because I'm not going to call people out by their name and shame them by their name like other people have done to me. They know who I'm talking to. This is for them. This isn't for you. This isn't for you so you can go to clout and collect information because I simply don't trust you at Yikes. all. I see what you do on the other channels. I see what you do and you manipulate Chantal all the time. Now I'm going to block you because I told you several times we're all to here stay for out of my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we all are secretly, yeah. Thank you, Courtney. I actually do agree with that statement, Shani. I think people should find out about find out on their own about people, not about others' opinions. Exactly. Exactly. The person who I just blocked, they're a I phony. I 100% agree. No, it really matters. Because, and I say this all the time, if you didn't put your fucking life online, we wouldn't have a fucking thing to say. So if you really want to stop being bullied, then fucking stop putting your life online. Because, like, fuck, dude. Get off the internet. Get off. They're a phony. They go to hater channels, talking crap about Chantel and me. They go to Chantel and pretend they're fucking nice. Pretend they actually care. When they're at the same time, friending hater channels. Don't. Don't. I see your hypocrisy and I see your lies, but I don't have to say your name, do I? That's actually a really good what point. You are no, doing no, to do others the same thing. is wrong. And no, this Gotta is not get the ready. person I'm talking about either. Although some days, <laughs> some days I stay in my pajamas all day. Whoops. I am really sick of people pretending to be others' friends, and I see it with Chantel all the time, too. They pretend to be her friend just Why to get information from her. Chantel's and as soon as they battle. get that juicy information, they expose it to the whole hey, world. Hey, brothers, and that whole how you doing? they had means fucking nothing. It means... I'm loving your content on Instagram, dude, brothers. I'm loving it. I, I, I think it's really cool. Nothing. Your bottom feeders. You're the bottom, bottom feeder, feeders. bruh. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> Chantel you are is the not a little bottom cow. Reader. <laughs> she is a human being with a life of her own, and you guys do nothing but make fun of her. Get off my fucking channel. You're not welcome here. Oh, okay. You're not welcome here. Too bad your channel's I'm far gone. from innocent. I'm more innocent than you guys. I don't talk about others yeah. behind their back. I'll straightforward say it to their face. But I certainly won't put them in public shame either by calling them out by name. Because that's not fair to do, to have a bunch of people come to you over someone else's opinion. This is how I feel. This is how I feel, okay? This has nothing to do with anyone else. And I'm never going to ask people to go out and harm other people. I'm never going to go and ask people to oh attack others gosh. like your You've people do. You've totally done that. Your people do. You've totally done that. Your people go out and attack yeah, others okay. relentlessly. You, I don't, okay. <laughs> Words. Um, you, you friggin' send people to hell every single day, I swear. Like, you wish the worst on people all the time. And call people ridiculous names. Like, no nah, dude. No nah, dude. Back the fuck off. Proof is my... I'm feeling very sweary today, so Proof. sorry if you don't like swear words. <laughs> I'm very innocent. I don't attack people. I don't hurt people. What? what You're not innocent you either. Say? Why? Because you see me rebuttaling people who are being what mean, condescending, and jerks to people online? That's me not being innocent? No, that's me sticking up for others and myself. There's oh. a big difference going out of your way oh, to antagonize wow. people, to question people if, if they're sincere. There's a big difference between me and you guys. A big Bruh. difference. 
Because I see injustice and then I speak. You don't see injustice. You see words. You play with words. You take words, cherry pick them, twist them, and take them out of content. Bruh. There's a big difference there. You're I see people getting bullied and I don't appreciate it. It is toxic and it hurts my heart to see and it grieves the Holy Spirit. Bruh. No. Just stop. I know you're gonna do this for the next two it hours. It grieves but... the Holy Spirit <laughs> seeing that constantly from others. I was bullied. I was bullied. I'm so sorry I judged you. I'm so sorry I judged you. Who is saying this? You didn't get to know Who? me either. You just took someone else's opinion, some untrue opinion, and you applied it onto me like you fucking. The only opinion I have is the one that you've set for yourself. I. I've just watched your videos, dude. I have literally just consumed your content. I don't really talk to anybody about you. Okay? I just consume your content taken from your mouth on your fucking channels. Okay, uploaded by other people. But still, dude. My opinion is fresh from you, my guy. You knew me. And you don't. What I am, I am a nice human being. I'm Not very, you. very, very kind. Not but there you. comes a point where you get so fed up over cancel culture, <laughs> over seeing people bullied, over seeing people manipulated, because you guys are the ones who are manipulating people. You're the guy, people who pretend to be people's friends and then expose them to the whole world like they did something wrong to you, and they didn't. Oh, we're mad. We're big mad today. <laughs> Oh, shame. <laughs> Watch your blood pressure. Mind your own fucking business. Bruh, but you should definitely check your, um, <laughs> blood pressure. Though. It's probably high as fuck. Hey, Steve! How you doing? Mind your own freaking business. You should be smart when you comment on my channel, because yeah, I'll exactly you like Annie Oakley so and nice. shoot you down. I don't wow. care. We have I don't have a tolerance her. for bullies. A you go house. around and you, you oh, and look house? at that one person. We were talking about nags. Why are you talking about nags? What business is it for you to talk about that person? They're down under. They've been kicked to the curb. Where are you in your human element? Where's your humanism? Where are you trying to support that man and help rise him up? Nah, but you kick them while they're down because it's funny to you, isn't it? It is, actually. But I've never kicked you all you down. You say horrible things. I mean, I probably have. I guess, no, I definitely have. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> you say horrible things. Why did you give me money? I don't know who you are. Get the hell off my channel. Oops. You want to complain about how horrible people are, but yet you can't see the own horrible Hey, living, laughing, and crafting with friends. How you doing? Poke, 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 until they explode. Until they finally, like, ah! If anybody does and know then like, living, please, please go follow them. I'm going to stick your channel link into the chat for you. See, that's how that person truly is. See, that's who they truly are. No. Which stream is this one? It up. is Rage Stream that's from November 21st, 2021. That's a person fed up of being fucking poked. That's not them being a horrible person. That's someone who is provoked. There is a big difference between someone who's trying to be nice and someone who is actually provoked. If you don't like my strong voice, go suck it. If you don't like how I feel, go suck it. I don't care. I don't care. What you're doing to people is Go horrible. Go subscribe to my, to my friend. What, how you're treating people is horrible. You're horrible how you treat people. You're horrible. You're horrible. You're, you're horrible. horrible. You are definitely horrible. That's right, Kemi. We've read a culture of hate and insensitivity. There's no compassion left. I said it many years ago that social media and technology would be the what downfall. Is, in right, and I'm watching this for the first time. I ain't never seen this shit, so... I just, every time she rages, <laughs> um, I, ju I just can't quite believe how she thinks that th 
that she deserves kindness. Like, I don't think we're inherently good as human beings. I don't think that we're good people. I just don't. That's just my personal opinion. Yours might be different. That's okay. But you don't automatically deserve kindness because you're a human being. Actually, you fucking don't. And if you're really horrible, like you are, Shani, why, why do you feel like we owe you any sort of kindness? Bruh, we don't. Breaking of society. Exactly. Exactly. It is. It is. I'm sorry. You can have your opinion, but to force people to have your same opinion. But that's what you do. Is evil. That's what you it's do. Because you don't allow people to have free thought. Bro. You bully them. <laughs> you tell them if you support this person, you're just an enabler. You, Fine. They are. If that's, if that's how your stance is, you enable bullying. You enable people to go after other people because of the things they do in their life. I enable I freedom of speech. I can't even watch Chantel Foodie Beauty anymore. I can't even watch her anymore because all I see is hate comments. Hate comments. Because she's comment, such a mess. And all I want to do is just scream to the top of my lungs telling them to stop this nonsense because you're harming her more than doing good. You're harming more than good. You're not you're not helping that woman. You're not edifying that woman. You're tearing her down. You're pretending to be nice to her so you can tear her down even more. Uh, so you I'm can manipulate too. her and tell her like what she mother, needs to like fucking child. do with her own goddamn life. <laughs> Fuck you for that. You fakes, <laughs> you phonies, you liars. Oh. You don't care about her. You care about your own views. You care about your own fucking money. This isn't drama. This is ranting. There is a big difference between drama and ranting. This is Mama Shannon fed up Mama with childish Shannon. bullshit. Go <laughs> away somewhere else. Okay, go to your fucking drama channel. No, I'm not dude. talking to you, you piece of shit bully. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, they they are the best. I'm Shiri's everything bad about social media. No, you're everything bad about 10. social media because you support bullying. You support people to tear other people down and point the finger at others and tell other people that they're evil when you're the one doing evil. You're supporting evil. You're enabling evil. You're the one who's talking about other people behind their back. Wow. You're the one who's perpetuated hate into other people's heart and forcing other people to hate others. You're the bad thing about the internet. You right? don't allow people if she could, to have their if own If she could invest some of the energy she invests into these rages and into judging people, into actually getting herself clean and, like, sorting her life out, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be great. I'm glad she's not my mom, too. <laughs> I'm really glad. Real, real, real glad. <laughs> creative content without you inserting your fucking opinion exactly no everybody it. sub to shaw fuck you too let me just let me just stick her channel i can say what i want calm down no you want me to shut up because well. you don't want to hear the truth because it's my you don't mommy. like hearing passion you have a problem with hearing passion and speak and you relate it to anger instead of relating it to passion pa you think this is passion I'm Bruh. not angry. I'm passionate over this, and I am fed up seeing people bullying over the internet and treated like crap over the internet. I was on Eugenia Cooney's Instagram. She looks very. Don't even start on Eugenia Cooney. That that is like, not even the same thing. Not even the same thing. Very sick right now, and here you are. Here I see you, fucking same fucking people, telling her she looks beautiful, she looks wonderful. I wish I was thin as you. You should not eat anymore. You kind of look fat. I see you saying that to that girl. Exactly. Get, let her have it, trolls. She don't deserve. I don't kindness. have a Twitter only fans, idiot. Yeah, it exists though. <laughs> It, it exists. <laughs> I'm not body shaming. I'm seeing someone who's sick and suffering from an eating disorder. And I'm seeing people enabling it. 
instead of telling her, please get help. Because she needs help. She's going to die if she doesn't. I'm not body shaming anyone. <clears throat> and look at yeah. all you hateful people out there. Mother of the year. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at you! Look at what? Look at yourself. Look at yourself. I'm not look at yourself. Mom. Spending hours a day talking no about kids. people behind our back. Look at yourself. Go look at you. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I don't what is like there to you. disagree with me about? <laughs> I'm not doing anything to you. I'm, I'm not ugly. starting an argument with you. I'm not debating you. There's nothing to disagree with myself. That's not <laughs> disagreeing with me. That's you bullying. And going out of your way to cherry pick what I have to say. Bro, you give me a headache, my guy. <laughs> I'll continue to fucking block you, asshole. You give me a fucking headache. I'm gonna take a an adult. <laughs> this woman is too much. And look at you, you keep coming in after one sock account, after another sock account, pretending, pretending, pretending that you actually care. I should be ashamed? No, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. For lying about people. You should be ashamed for bullying people. You should be ashamed for antagonizing people and pulling out this thing out of them. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed of anything I'm saying right now because everything I'm saying is true and it's from a good intent. Okay. Okay, if you say so. I don't agree, but... That's fine. That's true, too. People are always quick to point their fingers at others without addressing the three fingers pointing back at themselves. Exactly. I'm so sorry, but is that exactly. comment not made for you? <laughs> you want to come to me? Say how much I'm a horrible person. You're a bully. You want to go to Chantel? Say she makes horrible decisions in life and she's a horrible person. But you're the one pointing your finger at her. You're the one accusing her. You're the one who's talking mean to her. You're the one who's being rude to her. And you want to go and say that she's the bad person when all Doesn't she wants to do is to bees and have her, a good time? I don't think so. That's what I want to do most of the time is bees and have a good time too. But am I allowed to? No. Because there's some asshole out there that's going to say some fucking mean fucking condescending personal ass shit when it's none of their fucking business. All Bruh. Take it. Take a break. Take a deep breath. Go outside. Smell some grass. Touch a flower. Fucking get stung by a bee. I don't care. And then come back. And then be zen. You are getting riled up about what fuckheads say on the internet. And yes, I'm a fuckhead. But you don't... Why do you care? Why do you care? All they're gonna do is say you're this and lie about me and then try to have other people believe them about who I am. Well, I'm I'm proud of your kids too, no one really matters because Fuck off. I'm definitely not that far along in life. Fuck but, off. Yeah, fuck like Fuck off. If you didn't raise Shani, you did a good job. Even but even fuck if Fuck off. Fuck off yourself. If, even though, I think it was really difficult to raise Shani, because sh Shani's a fucking interesting human being, and I doubt she was really fun to raise. So, hats off to to dear Betty. How about that? Fuck off! I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't ask to be criticized. I didn't ask that. Do you know that? I don't want your fucking comments. Your comments are just gonna be blocked. That is You're wasting so your fucking time. Cool. No one really matters. Do you I'm realize that? Well, well Do you realize Please. that? That you're wasting your Fancy. time? You keep trying to point your finger and say I'm a drug addict. I haven't done any drugs! Oh my gosh. Oh look at she needs her perks because I had four days of fucking perks because I was in pain. You guys are dumb. I'm sick of the bullying. I'm sick of the name calling. I'm sick of the childish behavior that you guys constantly display 24-7. What the fuck is wrong with you? 
Uh, what are you doing with your lives? Lots, actually. You I'm spend hours <laughs> talking about other I'm people and then complain <laughs> that we have a shit life. No, you know what I do? I spend my time with my family. My free time with my family. Loving my family. Supporting my family. Bruh. Working for my family. This ain't That's true. what I do with my free time. I don't go this and spend it true. talking and abusing and mentally abusing people on the internet for hours a day because it's funny. Mentally abusing people and calling people names is funny to you? Yes. How old are you? 12. 12 and a half. How old are you? I'm just a baby. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bruh. No. Oh, don't. I, I, look at another name I never seen. Be part of the solution then. But not like this, just saying. Oh, yes, you want me to shut up, don't you? Don't you name I don't know and never seen in my channel before? You know why you exactly. want me to shut up? We, because we right now, milk. the truth <laughs> and the light is on you guys instead of everyone else. Oh, shut up. You're so self-righteous. Get over yourself. What do you What do you fucking think this is? Like, your world and we all just live in it. I fucking swear that's what you think. I... Like... Yes, genuinely, I do agree. No one really matters. I think she has NPD more than BPD because this this narcissism is too it's too much. It's too you don't need this. You don't need to be like this. Honestly, you're such a disappointing human being. You're such a disappointing human being. I don't even know what to say. You want to keep making fun of my family? Go somewhere else. No. Ultra Blaze, I'm warning you. Also, we don't make fun don't. of your family. We don't make fun of your kids because those kids need help. Those kids are innocent in all this. If we were such mindless bullies and absolutely hateful creatures, surely then we would make fun of your kids? But we don't because that's not the fucking point. The point is not to hurt the innocent people. You, my friend, are not innocent. Why did I call you my friend? You're not my friend. You are not innocent. You are a nightmare of a human being. Just like... Ridiculous. Even when... Her son was abused. Exactly. Exactly. Like, honestly. You make everything about yourself. It's really stupid. You're really stupid. Don't talk about my husband that way. I don't care about anyone's recommendations. I'm not asking for advice. Why are you giving advice to someone who doesn't want it? Chantel doesn't want your fucking advice, but yet you keep trying to feed it to her. You keep trying to manipulate her. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be manipulated by scumbags over the internet. Who just want to silence people who get upset over this constant bullying that's going around and is enabled by paying people to bully others. You get paid to bully people. You get paid to hurt people. And then you have the nerve to say they're bad people when you're the one getting paid to be shit human beings. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not being incendiary for attention. I'm telling people to stop their bullshit and stop bullying. How is that incendiary telling people to stop bullying? You stupid motherfucker. Yeah, that's bullying. Um, exactly. No one needs to fucking bully the children. You've never done that because it's not right. And she doesn't need any advice. You're right. Look, she knows everything. She's the expert in everything. Even though she can't fucking understand that she does these things. She's like the least self-aware person I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I know. Kimmy, you know what? I need to do something. One minute. Kimmy, I love you, girl. You've been in my life for so long. I've known you for how many freaking years? Like 10 or something like that? Years. 
years I've known you, Kimmy. You deserve a mod. Have fun with the assholes. Have fun with them. Why would you say that? <laughs> Have fun with them. Because this is wrong. This is wrong what you're doing to me. This is wrong what you're doing to Eugenia Cooney. This is wrong what you're doing to Foodie Beauty. This is wrong what you're doing to Angie Lee. This is wrong what you do to Trisha Paficia. Trisha Paytas. Truthfully, Trisha. Negs. Pick anyone who's being bullied. It's wrong, period. Don't go and say and try to put on this high standard and try to put yourself like you're this grand person, but yet you're literally spending hours making fun of people and treating people like crap and degrading them. How they look, how they smell, how, how they talk, what they say, what their thoughts is, cherry picking everything. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I'm not going to tolerate you making fun of me like that. Eugenia is a beautiful human being. She's just sick and she needs help. And it's it's bad right now because people are enabling her to continue to be sick because they want to see her die. Like you want with Foodie Beauty. That's why you do what you do. Go and get something. I actually think people with Eugenia Cooney are actually far more interested in seeing her get healthy than they are in seeing her die. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Wrong, but that's what I've seen. Gonna eat, girl. Let's get high together, girl. And then, in the same ton, you're on the other channels talking shit about them. Like they're nothing to you. While you pretend to be their friend. While you pretend like you care about them and you don't. You don't. You're phonies, you're frauds, you're fakes, and you've been exposed truly are and I hope every single one of you who are listening to this self-examines themselves and realize they are going down a really dark and ugly evil path and they change their mind they change their ways and they refrain themselves from being people who bully others that's what my hopes are is you finally get it in your head oh my, oh my god what did I do why have I been spending years hurting someone and, and trying to make them look bad. Yeah, I you know agree. Why? No one really this matters. is what I figured out. I agree. The reason I don't think why people troll her. I think people just with the a reason why with an ED kind of swarm to that. Are are doing that and pointing their fingers and saying they're the evil ones is because they don't want their skeletons and their closets exposed. That's why when their skeletons are actually exposed, they get away with it because they're like, Well, look at that person over there. See, oh if they do it, I can't. Isn't this I what you're doing? I'm calling them bad even though I'm doing the same fucking thing. Isn't this what you're doing? Can you not grasp that? Thank you. Thank you, Kimmy. Jeez, people are relentless. Why so much vitriol? There's always an option to not watch people you don't like. Exactly. I don't watch any of these channels I don't like. I don't. But what I do see it's their comment sections on the people I do watch and I do like. And I see these same people I don't watch and I have banned out of my life doing it to the people I love and I respect and I care for. There's a big difference. See, I'm actually caring for others, you see? Are you? I'm not <laughs> saying any names or, or degrading you as a human being. I'm telling you to stop the bullshit. I'm telling you to stop treating people like shit and stop you telling first, people what to do with their lives. You first, my guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brett King. That is so weird. You just came on my channel, dude. I had a dream about you last night. I swear to god. I had a dream you were over your house. You were very fucking cordial and awesome and, and just very sweet. And you reminded me of my dad because I was like looking at your books on your shelves. I know it's a dream, but it was um you you had like a big display of the books, the foundation. And I was like, oh my god, you're like my dad, you love the foundation, you know? Oh, look at this person, please pass away. Wow. <laughs> wow. You want me to die. That's pretty rough. And then you want to go and say you're a good person. That's pretty rough. <laughs> you call yourself Shalom, friends. But yet you wish me death. How is that Shalom. Ugh, Jewish people are rough too. Do you know too. what shalom means? And I can say that because I'm Jewish. I don't know. Mm. 
neither right. the people you are. <laughs> this Kimmy is not the right Kimmy, <laughs> but now believes that they are the chosen ones. <laughs> I love that for them. Are supporting, you're supporting others who wish death upon others. Good job. Good job. Thank you. I don't wish death on you, Shane. God is- I wish soap, water, shampoo and conditioner, common sense, some logic, and no vocal cords. That's what I wish upon you, Shani. And a job. I wish a job on you. He's not my hey, Tom -tom. personal assassin. No. How you doing? He's my personal avenger Yay, because yeah. he says Yay. I will avenge you. And if you have a problem with God avenging me, maybe you shouldn't do things wrong to me to pretend that you shouldn't be avenged, okay? I'm sorry. Bruh. You do bad things to others, you deserve the karma that comes back to you. Same, Period. Dude, but and check your I karma. I know the eh? bad it's things nice. I've done to others, the karma has come back to me. Yes, it has. Tenfold. Tenfold. Yes, it Probably has. at this point, a hundred millionfold. Yes, it has. And it's still coming. Because I saw, I've heard about the thing where it's going to stop giving you food stamps. Because you don't work 20 hours a week. Sorry. Good, I'm good. I just took a bunch of pain meds. <laughs> no, joking. They, they like, it's like, um, uh, paracetamol, but a little bit stronger. You said the same to me. I took exactly. three. I'm very She's kind. She's giving me a headache. If it's deserved. I'm good. Oh, you're kind of it's deserved. Well, if you knew Jesus, you would know that Jesus said, turn the other cheek. If you knew Jesus, he said, love others as yourself. If you knew Jesus, you would know that Jesus said, love your enemies. So what? where are you, beautiful oblivion? Where are you in Christ? Probably nowhere. Oh, you do, but yet you say shitty fucking things to me. And say, I don't deserve kindness. I've never done anything to you. I don't even I just know wanna you. Know. I just want to know where you think you stand in the in the Christian rhetoric. Like, do you believe that some of it counts towards you and some of it doesn't? Does some of it apply to you? Some of it doesn't? Because that's what that's what is um, it feels like <laughs> that you're just tailoring and hand cherry picking bits of the of the the Christian race rake to fit you. Get off my channel, idiot. Get off my channel. Pretending you know Jesus, but saying awful things to me and then say I'm kind, but yet you said something awful to me like I don't deserve kindness. Why don't I deserve kindness? I wasn't talking about you. You sure made it about you, though. Maybe it's because you saw the contents of your heart and you got freaking convicted. That's one of the reasons why I don't <laughs> say names, really, at the end of the day. Because I know it's convicting souls. You know, back in my day when I started you... You know, I see the contents of my heart all the time. Scary place. Super scary place. <laughs> too, when I was like really like into YouTube back in 2014, you know what the Christians called me? Jason, what did the Christians call me? Well, I've heard this as a convictor. The convictor. They called me the convictor, the convictor. because I convict. Right. I take a human's heart, I show what they are inside. And I show the darkness that they are beholden in their heart. And I shove it right in their fucking face. And I tell them, why are you doing this while so spouting that you're a good person? Let you know, me as know. Good as, as good at th that as you may think you are, it's still not a job. You can't put it on your CV. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh at this point. <laughs> you don't like being convicted? Don't talk to me. Okay. Because I'm all about fairness around here.
I'm all about fairness. I'm all about equal rights here, okay? All about oh, fairness. This. You just don't she get it about me. She is scary. She's so scary. I'm so scared. <laughs> Look, right. Shani, I'm going to give you a bone. If you or anyone else wants to convict me, my heart is fucking black. I have done terrible things. I was a horrible drug addict and I hurt a lot of people and I was a horrible prostitute and I hurt myself and my family and I've been a horrible BPD child my whole life. So yeah, there's a lot to convict and I wish you would. I wish someone would. Just, just fucking take me out. But before you do that, I hope you understand that if you are self-aware, as I am, about your mistakes, having the convictor convict you is like bloody Tuesday morning. Just another fucking afternoon, isn't it? I mean, you're wishing, Eugenia. To, to get even more thinner than what she is. And then saying you're a good person. No one's wishing that. No you're one. You're wishing foodie beauty to stay in a really... I'm not going to say it. It's none of my business. Right, then stop talking. But you're using her. You're manipulating her. And she doesn't know what's the truth from lies. Adolf Hitler just entered her chat, so I don't know what they're going to say now. I don't know if she's going to freak out, I think. Take a I'm seeing, and, and, and here's the old, here's the real thing that makes it sick. These are all women that are being bullied. It's not men oh, being bullied. Wow. It's men bullying women. Making it a sexist thing now. And, and, and they like to call us fat. They love to call us ugly. But when you see how these men look, you have the goddamn- Okay, I must have to agree with her on this one. Only because I saw uh, in the geek room, they did G-Men's Live where he was like, I'm gonna, I've seen what Jules and Burnt Toast look like in real life. Which one would I date? And I was like, you fucking gimp man. How dare you? Go away. Go away. No one cares. If you, would you date them? Don't care. I don't fucking care. Do they care? Probably not. It's just, shut up. Ugh. But G-Man makes me like, ick. He's big ick. Huge ick. And nerve to talk about me. You have the goddamn nerve to talk about me when you look the way you do. You want to go and say, I'm ugly? Go look in the fucking mirror, okay? I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. I wouldn't touch you if you were the last man on earth. I wouldn't touch you. If I was forced to touch you, I would cut off my fucking hands to not touch you. Isn't that That's what, how gross um, you are to me. Oh, like Blue, I did not you? wish on anybody <laughs> today, just saying. Oh, Blue, but you wish cancer on people so many times. You hypocrite, get off my channel. There's a lot get of off my um, channel. Uh, Nazi symbolism happening, yeah. In her chat. I don't love it. I will say, I, I don't think I'd feel very comfortable. You guys are so gross. Hundred percent, Warts. Hundred percent. And women bullying Rev is not okay either. No, it's not. It's not okay for people to bully. Period. Period. Yeah. Well, equal rights. Bully. Male it's or female. not okay. 
It's not okay to bully people. It's not okay to talk and tell people names. It's not okay to label people things. It's not okay. Because it's defamation of character at the end of the day. It's not, though. And it's causing hate mobs to go after people. And you guys think it's okay to have hate mobs going after people, don't you? And then these other women who try to do it to other women. Where is your sisterhood? Where are? Where is your Bruh. female card, first of all? Why are you sticking up for women being hey, bullied Mugga. by men? Why are you, are you encouraging men to bully women? Are you dumb? No. Why are you enabling them like that? Shouldn't shouldn't you, as a woman, you see a man condescending and sexually harassing a woman and talking about a woman's body like it's theirs sexually? Are, where are you women telling these men to shut up? Why are you encouraging this behavior and laughing on it? True that. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> See, this is freedom. You're right. We don't. We don't. I'll go you. say next. For instance, I saw him bullying Callie and her sex work and her OnlyFans, and I spoke out. You know what Negs did? He he said a bunch of lies about me, and his little women went along with it. Tooty tooty too. Instead of tootie, telling tootie, him, tootie. don't talk about a woman <laughs> like that. They didn't serious. do that. This is serious, instead, guys, they were thinking fam. with this their coochies serious? instead of thinking with their head. What? Shut up. Shut up. You're a bully. Don't talk about bullying when I've seen you bully my husband and me. That's okay. Get your fix and then get ready for work. Don't. I understand. Don't. I'm glad I could provide. Okay, I don't like Callie. She's a bully too. But I certainly don't don't condone condone her being bullied back. I don't condone it. I'm not going to condone it. Any bullying of any reasoning. You're all fake. <laughs> If she didn't say the same thing 150 million times, she might even be interesting. Fake and <laughs> phony. Aw, oh, thanks, Ms. Mother. And you try to encourage to people to bully others. You go in your little, your, your little discords and you're like, hey, let's go after this person and spam their channel with a bunch of crap. I know, I know that, Brent. Speaking of Discord, <laughs> I'm going to drop our Discord link. Come be a stream ghost. It's super fun. I know. I know that, Brent. I know. It's because we've been around for the longest. Oh, look at this. Be careful, Shani. I don't want to see you get too upset and have medical response. For what? I don't have a bad heart. You've got a crinkle I have heart. arthritis. How is arthritis going to affect me if I'm upset over High people who are constantly mates. trying to hurt others? I'm more upset over what they're doing to Eugenia Cooney at this moment. That's fair enough. I mean, there's I no drama. I love that girl. She's taught um, me so much. We don't do drama. How to be a much Discord. better person. We don't. She's taught me that. Because I'm how a to weenie. Be a better person. <laughs> I'm a weenie, uh, and I can't actually handle confrontation and anger. So I don't. We don't encourage it. We don't <laughs> like. All we do is um, I post my when I'm going live or when I'm recording stuff, and we have chats. And she she edified me and encouraged but I get it. me to if you're, be a if better you're person. Worried about it? Don't worry about it. You don't have to join. None of your business. How about that? How about that? I ain't gonna say names.
Who's deleting comments? Me. Why do you want to see comments? Are you here for the comments? Or are you here to hear what I have to say? The comments. Which one is it? Because I don't want you to be around here for the comments. I'm trying to speak to people and rationalize to people how much that stuff affects others. Go I also look like Discord. I think it's Cooney's fun. Current Instagram. I mean, you it's tell like me how the bullying has helped her. She looks worse than she did a couple years ago. Why are you body shaming her now? I see a Fuck lot of my out. younger hurt self in Eugenia. I pray she heals from this awful disease. She's so beautiful and needs true recovery, love, and healing. Exactly. She does, but she doesn't get it. She gets these she false gets people of complimenting it. her. And then these other false people saying she looks fat and ugly. When, you know what? She's a beautiful person. Yeah, I don't either. If you make trouble, mm -mm. don't, don't come near me. I don't know if she's going to be all right. Or in danger. I, I half the time I'm up late at night thinking I'm going to be in danger. But I guarantee I'm armed. I it's guarantee locked. they come into m where I live it's and they're going to have a rude with? awakening with not only me armed but my husband armed. Who gave be a you bad two day weapons? for stupid motherfuckers to come Who into my household. I'll say that. A bad fucking day. Because we already got a plan on what we'll do in case that happens. Because we had to think of a plan in case that happens. What will you do? I'm really actually curious. What would you do? Because of so much bullying on the internet, you've antagonized people to the point where they actually put actual nails down where we live. Nails down. So our tires get popped. You are right. That's so how much you tell. antagonize people to the point it where is, they stalk it others. It is hard. That's cool, right? To stalk people. That's why you keep your circle small, And to I think. antagonize them. And and to, to find out where they live. No, and, I didn't and what, think and, and he was. And find family members to harass. That and ruin your re relationships no with family members, book. right? That's okay. That's what good people do, right? You bullies. Ha ha ha. Block, block, block. How about that? Why are you laughing, idiot? Because you find Why are you laughing? You make a joke. Why are you laughing? What is there to laugh about? Is it funny people are stalked? Right? Is it funny they're people so are fucking scared paranoid. for their life? Or, is it's that not just that they're paranoid. It's just that they start all these rumors by themselves. You know? It's like... It's like when they said that everyone came in and fucked up their house. Like, no one did that, babes. No one did that. Funny to you, sociopath. You have a little narcissistic personality disorder? You think Bruh. cruelty is funny? What's wrong with you? If you stop the shit, anyone who sees Gigi Allen, alone. please they block would. them. They Just are not it. welcomed on my channel. I have told them several times they are not welcome on their channel, on my channel. They are pretending to be nice when I've seen the most condescending statements from them. But they want to try to fool people. But you know what? Most of the people have seen you talk about other people it. several times. I doubt she So your whole little bend. boy is... <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's Yes, hard. they did, Cinderella. <laughs> exactly, Mrs. My Dog. Like, put your life online. See what happens. Oh, no. It's Ugh. going badly. What should I do? Go offline. 
go offline. Oh, what kind of threats have I? <laughs> what have what kind of threats have I been getting? Pick a threat. Just Tell think us. up any threat. I've been think of any it. threat. I've had it. Just think of any threat. <laughs> I've been threatened it. All the threats that can be threatened, I've been threatened by. Say threatened one more time. I didn't quite hear you. All those hundred times you said it. All right, Kimmy. Girl, put them all in a bubble, blow them away, figure... <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Cute. I wish it that was that easy where I could put all those cruel, insane, piece of crap people and put them in okay, the bubble. Okay, but it is that easy. Just, just end the video and stop posting the comments will stop they'll stop because you, you won't be putting anything out they won't be saying anything it's that easy you don't even have to blow them away you just have to end it and blow them away from society because they are the ones ruining society they okay. don't believe in peace they see something they don't like about someone and they think it's okay to constantly be on their shit and constantly make fun of them and constantly treat them like crap and degrade them because they didn't like something. Wow. You got us there. I don't have a Twitter. That is a fake account. That is not me. It's the greatest account <laughs> but don't go there don't go there it's, it's her only fans it's horrible it's terrible i saw it i cannot unsee it they're bad for society horrible. but yet they're enabled by society because there's so many people that people are like well if so many people are saying this it must be true they don't even know me they don't even know me no one knows me really on the internet other than maybe g-man he's the only one who actually seen who i truly am like who i truly am you don't know me you just see videos of me i'm no different than someone you watch on tv oh yeah i should be treated the same no no I won't. Thanks, though. But I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to what I'm doing. YouTube protects the trolls and gives them money? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. I'm you not unhappy <laughs> all the time. She is a lying cunt. Both her parents are alive. My father is passed Yikes. away. There's even obituaries on the internet for him. Shut the fuck up. You're the one lying. Don't say I'm lying when you're lying. How dare you? How dare you bring up my father like that? How dare you? You don't know that man. You don't know what he had to suffer in all the abuse he took from my mother. She abuse always hit him. from you, maybe. She always told him what to do. She from made you. him feel so bad about himself and degraded him as a man so many fucking times. How dare you? Well, then don't you do that to Jason all the time so apple doesn't fall far from the tree maybe
You know nothing about my life other you than what other people pretend they think they know about me. There's the truth. Thank you, Cod. These people are so sick they spent too much time online. Go touch grass, trolls. Exactly. Same, though, Guess what I did? Even. I was out today. I actually did something with my life today. Did what did you do today with your life? Did you food. sit in a room talking about others behind their back so you can feel validated and feel like you fit in somewhere? Is that what you did? Because me? Because me? I... I, I value my individuality. I value the fact that I'm not part of the mob, that I'm not <laughs> part of the crowd, that I do think for myself, and I don't allow others to manipulate me how to feel, how to think, how to act. Damn, girl. I'm being me. Yeah, exactly. And then you say we don't know you. I'm being me. And if you don't like me, for me being me, go to a different channel. There's no. plenty of channels out there that you sit on your asses and you talk your fucking voices of others of how much you don't like someone. I don't like someone. <laughs> you whiners. <laughs> the Bible is right. Whiners and complainers. The Bible is right. You're whiners and complainers. You're accusers of the brethren who accuse day and night. If I came on at this, if I came on at 2.30 to having the same issue, all of you, same, a hundred and something people would still be on watching me because you guys don't sleep because I'm constantly in your mind. I don't see. You're obsessed. But. You're that's obsessed. That's because of you. With me and other YouTube people. YouTube is forever. Because <laughs> you Remember? can't live your own life. You can't. You have to live your life through others. You can't live your own life. You can't go outside and actually meet people and talk about people. Who would you I'm be? I'm so proud of Truthfully Trisha, actually, because she is staying off the internet. I'm proud of myself for the most part because I am staying off the internet and Excuse living me? my life. Excuse me? Where are you staying off the internet? But you Where, people, bro? you haven't lived in so long that you are willing so to go and degrade people so you can feel somewhat alive. Where How about you go this? out and ride a bike and do something with your life? Yes. Go take a walk. Go to the groceries. Clean your house. Go talk to your children. You guys complain and say, I'm a bad mother. But every single time you are, you are talking to other people or talking about other people in the background, I hear in the background your child screaming, trying to get your attention, and you don't even pay attention to your children. Bro, you, you are that mom. You scream in the background trying to get your attention. You don't hear that with my kids, do you? You know why? Mm. If they want attention, I give it to them. No, you don't. Maybe there's some times where I'm like, shh, give me a couple minutes, but that's okay to do. No, dude. You guys are- No, dude. I definitely have, you, have seen you dismiss your kids and then continue on for an hour, two hours. Don't even- like fucking no this is stupid on the other hand you allow your children to scream 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 while pointing your finger and saying that's the bad parent nah you are the bad parent nah. though. don't have your kids screaming in the background needing your attention and you're too busy focusing on my life than your own fucking children dude what you're scared? Why are you scared? Huh? You're blocked. How about that? You don't have to be scared anymore. Go to somewhere where it's not so scary. Boo. What are you Boo. Doing? Okay. Okay.
Oh wait, you weren't saying. Uh, I I apologize for that. Ah. But fuck. You guys can't grow up. You guys can't grow up. You have to act like incessive fucking children. You're worse than children, actually. You're worse than children. You know why you're worse than children? How you act toward others? Because you know better. That's why. You Dude. know better. You know what you're doing is evil. You know you're lying about others. You know you're miscrewing mis mis screwing facts. Just miscuing facts for your own benefit. You know what you're doing is wrong. You know you are slandering people. You know you are defaming them. You know you are hurting them. Your intention is to cause harm. That's why you're worse than children. You haven't met lots of kids. <laughs> You haven't missed lots of kids. Um, Thank you, Shannon. I just don't, like... You are the most childish person I think I've ever known. They want to do so evil, childish. man. Exactly. What was she trying to say? Thank Misconstruing. you. Misconstruing. You want to hurt Misconstruing. others. Misconstruing. Your intention is no, to cause people to be triggered. Your we intention you all the time. is to trigger their CPTSD or their PTSD. You know another person who gets really bullied on the internet and they have for the last, I don't know, 20 fucking years? That would be Kara Cunaway or the person who used to be known as Chris Crocker. You know, leave Britney alone, that person. Oh shit. Kara. It's been a long time. You constantly are bullying that person while saying you're pro-trans. You rip that person apart for finally coming out and saying I'm trans. While Who shaming did that? people and saying they're transphobic when they're not. They're for trans. Who, who's they're doing for this? They're for trans rights. Give me names. I'm for more trans rights. <laughs> sure. Are you joking? <laughs> Am I on steroids Guys, tonight? No one popped a tires. <laughs> no. It was just life. <laughs> it's just construction. Am so I on pain? On Not really. Okay. Maybe. Bye. Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> I can't with that person. I can't. I tried. I'm sorry. I can't. You said the one thing that should not be named. This is a positive, mentioned. happy channel. It's positive because I'm telling people to stop bullying people. How is that not positive? But you could do it in a better way if you really wanted to be positive. Did Chris Crocker change her name? Yes, it's Kara Cun Cunningham. Kara Cunningham. Literally, and I very much love that know. person. And I have loved that person for a very long time. I've been watching them and been talking to them and been encouraging them since they were 17 years old. Now they're 30. They're 30. Thank you, Bejeweled. I don't think that... What's a bully and how can that happen over the web? who Shani is. <laughs> like, she talks Ugh. about foodie beauty. She talks about Trisha Paytas. She talks about um, Cara Conningway. Cara Conningway. Cara Conningway. Whatever. 
the surname is. I don't know. And and she just like says, oh no, I know all these people. I've helped them since they were babies. And they're like my best friends. And I am their mentor. Um, but like, I don't think they know who she is. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I've never heard Amberlynn or Chantal ever mention Shani. Ever. Don't be intellectually honest and dishonest they, like that. Please don't be intellectually do, dishonest um, that way. No, they, they're not going to mention don't her because she's a right pile of shit. Okay, don't come here feigning stupidity and ignorance with me when you know better. You're not a child. You're a grown adult and you know better. You know better. I know you've been bullied your whole life, Stacy, but I love you and I would never do that to you. Guys, I was also bullied. Why does no one love me? There's nothing wrong with my life. <laughs> my life actually is going good. Is other it? Other than the stalkers. Is it? But other than that, it's going just fine. Right. Okay. I'm sure We it are is. grown. Yeah. Grown people don't focus their lives and live through others. A grown people, grown ass adults, normal grown ass adults, live their own life, mind their fucking business, and just do their own thing. That's something you guys are incapable of fucking doing for some reason. I have You're a incapable life of, you. of acting like grown ass adults, minding their own business and keeping the peace. I'm on the fellow man. You're Aww. incapable of doing that. <laughs> and then you, too, you want others to be like that toward <laughs> you when you're the one degrading people. You're the one calling people names. You're the one who's pointing fingers at people all the time. But yet you want people to treat you kindly, but you can't be kind to other people. No. It doesn't work that way. I never asked anyone to be You nice have to, to be me. kind to people. I've actually said the opposite. <laughs> Bully me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I honestly, I was telling someone the other day. I was like, "Yeah, so I'm streaming on YouTube. Um, my channel's really small, which is fine. Um, but I'm just waiting for people to realize that I am the worst reaction channel on YouTube." <laughs> and they didn't know what to say. And I was like, "Just go with it." Just be confident. <laughs> at, least you're, at least you're good at something, even if that thing is being the worst at it. Exactly, Stacy. I hear you. Stalkers, trolls, liars, they are all the same on here. Yes, they are. Oh my god. Yes, they are. There's no different from any of them. I'm sick of being lied to. I'm sick of people pretending to be my friend just to find out they're there to get information. I'm sick of that. Sick. I'm sick of that. I'm sick I'm of very that. kind. I'm very supportive. I'm no, very edifying not. to people. I don't like putting people down. No, I don't like not. calling people names. But there comes a point. There comes a point where you get so sick of it where you have to speak up. Okay? I'm not a mat for you to walk on. And neither is Chantel. And neither is Eugenia Cooney. And neither is Trisha Pafisha. And neither is Stacy the Sparkling <laughs> Star. And neither Lol. is Truthfully Trisha. <laughs> so and dumb. neither is Trisha so Paytas. <laughs> they are not your mats to walk on. And you always try to pose us as being bad people when we finally you had enough and speak are... out. Oh, you're causing drama. People. No, you're causing drama. You're causing drama. To the point drama. where we have to finally speak out. And then you tell us to shut up, to not speak up, because you want it to seem one-sided that you're the good guy trying to expose people when you're actually the fucking bad guy. I don't do shit to no she one. She is such a liar. She is such a liar. I mind my it's own like, business. What? How do, I how do, do this, my how own I? thing. I don't know. She's such a liar. But the comments that I 
see to people I care about. Telling Eugenia to kill herself. I'm sure you tell, sh- even telling know who you Chantel are, she should kill herself. Telling me I should kill myself. Telling truthfully Trisha that she doesn't deserve kindness. That she doesn't deserve to live a happy life. Fuck you. Everyone, including you bullies, deserve to have a happy life where people are kind to you. But you're going to have to start being kind to people or this is going to continue to happen. You're going to continue to see people speak out. You're going to continue to people say, I'm sick of the bullying. Because you know what? A lot of people are tired of the bullshit. A lot of people are tired of this cancel culture. A lot of people are sick of being excluded. And it's so funny. My opinion on cancel culture is that, and this is quite controversial... It's a good thing. If people that, especially when they're earning money, if people are earning money um, from advertising a certain thing and then it turns out that they have... So, for example, I don't really... J- James Charles. I don't really follow him at all, but I think he's an idiot. But the fact that James Charles has made money of a brand and he is that brand and then it's suddenly like he does something wrong like he i don't know is a predator we should not continue to support that brand because if we continue to support that brand the behavior is going to continue And I don't believe we should be giving those people a platform. I believe we should take it away and be like, "Mm -mm. it's a privilege to be on this platform. It's a privilege to be a celebrity, inverted commas. And quite frankly, yeah, you're actually just being a shithead. So go away. That That was coherent. Who are being excluded (laughs) are, are women who are are either bisexual <laughs> or lesbians why we're we being you mean? say you're pro lgbt but yet you attack the lgbt every day by attacking us why are we attacking you every it's got day to do with your sexuality every day what's it got to do with your sexuality why are we why are we trolling every you? day got nothing to do with your sexuality every day I have to see my sisters attacked I have to see my girls who I love who I care about attacked I have to see them antagonized to the point where they're yelling and saying fuck all of you I see that every day okay Thank you, Janice. You're right. We're either too skinny or too fat. It sucks. Yeah. Fuck your beauty standards. I know I'm beautiful. Inside and outside. I am beautiful. Because I care about other people. I don't go out of my way to harm others. But you guys do. You guys definitely go out of your way to hurt others. You make plans to hurt others. I do. In your discord. You make plans to hurt people. I've never done it in my discord. For but I do laugh. it late at night. Before I'm For going to sleep. For a joke. I agree. I agree. Uh, I mean. I am. I'm, Thank you diva. I'm also. They do it because their I mean, own I'm lives are sad. So. Yup. I've dated yep. men and women. And you don't. You shouldn't be living your. Just imagine um, how miserable these it people are. Imagine it how miserable they shield. are and how they treat other people in private. But it's also. If it's also so not a reason to... to hate someone, right? And I think that's she's missing the point. The, the point is not that we say, Shani, you're pile of shit just because. You're bisexual, or just because I don't know what, what later she is, but 
we're not gonna hate you because of that but it's not a reason for us to not hate you or to not call you out yeah i don't know to go in public and treat people like shit and degrade them i could only imagine what yeah, they exactly, do to their own family exactly it's actually got nothing to bloody do with you shannon these people I just it's not an attack on you no one's doing anything to you they're doing it to other people and like they must fight their own battles you you don't have to make everything about yourself only in friends in real life i could only imagine maybe they don't have any families or friends anymore because of how they treated others i don't know but i certainly would not want to have anything to do with them you know, I came from a family full of fucking narcissists. Sociopathic yeah. narcissists. And you think who, you're who, not who, one? who are just like you and find it funny to make fun of others. I'm from that family who, 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 who it, it always rubbed me the wrong way with how my family treats others. They look at someone who's poor, who doesn't have a lot of money, and they degrade them. And they call them losers. They they look at someone who looks a little bit different, Hi, and they make heart. fun of how them you doing? And, and laugh about how they look. Thanks and then they try us. to encourage me to do the same, and I never did. I was always like, "This is gross. You shouldn't be treating people like this." And then they hated on me for doing that because narcissists don't want to be exposed. They don't want people to look at them in that light. But obviously, a lot of people are starting to see through you guys. A lot of people are starting to see how hateful and miserable you people are. And and you don't have to be that way. I'm not you miserable. You can change. You can be a better person. You are miserable. You don't have to lash out on people. You don't have to call people names. You don't have to point your fingers at people and cherry pick what they say just so you can have an excuse to be negative toward them. You don't right. have to be toxic. Right. You can be encouraging. You can be edifying. You can be kind to others. But you choose not to. Same. Dude, you choose you not even. to be kind. Yeah. You choose to hold grudges for whatever it is, even though I've done nothing to these people. You hold grudges against people and you're reminded oh my gosh but don't you do the same thing isn't this exactly what you're saying why are you like this uh make me cross find <laughs> them over these grudges really. over and over and over again what is your purpose of doing that what is your need to do that it fills my soul. What, what plan my do you have to do that? Soul. Are you trying to manipulate them? Are you trying to manipulate others? No problem, What is your Evan. purpose? What is you, your intent? You can look, listen, do whatever you need to do. Sorry, I can hear someone's dog. I was raised by United Pentecostal Judge and Jerk. See, I didn't know that, that Shaw, but if that's fucking true, that's disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. In Black Sheep. Yeah. I'm like that around Calvinists. Calvinists like to judge me and tell me I'm not a believer in Christ. When I guarantee I have more faith in Christ than they ever have. Okay. I actually pray to Jesus outside of the church, assholes. I actually talk to Jesus outside of the church. I actually Dude. have a relationship with Jesus outside of the church. Okay? I don't get on my knees, judge people, spell all this Calvinist knowledge, and, and, and then get on my knees and pray to Jesus so it can look good in front of all the other people. And then someone comes along who actually does have true belief, and they ask you spiritual knowledge, and you're just like, I don't know what you're talking about. How can you say 
You believe in Jesus Christ, but yet you can't understand the spiritual things in life. What? What does that even mean, my guy? What does that mean? What are you trying to, what is that? I've been bullied my whole life too. Since okay. before I was born, I was being bullied by my parents. Worse. My parents bullied me all the time when I was a child and encouraged my brothers and my sisters. How did they bully you before you were born? What? <laughs> Can someone explain that to me? Did they, did they smack you? <laughs> did, how did they do that? that? Seems a bit wild. Hello, Aaron. How you doing, my friend? Sure to bully me too. And then I go to school, and there I am in school. I'm very sensitive as a person. I'm very sensitive. I'm very emotionally intelligent. I'm a. I'm, <laughs> I feel I'm very what other emotionally intelligent. Feel. Guys. I'm empathic toward people. I'm I empathic. cry when other people cry because I feel their feelings. Because I want to make it about me. And then I turn me. around and told that I'm crazy for actually feeling for others, for having compassion upon others, for see seeing the hurt in their eyes and knowing that they're hurting inside. I get called a horrible person for that and picked on because I'm not part of this whole crowd and mob of bullies who want to treat people like crap who they don't agree with. Never been part of that. Never will be done? part of that. <laughs> Instead, I when you're stand tall with this and I say, you this are doing absolute bad. tirade of narcissistic bullshit you're such a martyr oh my gosh the eternal victim i was bullied for being kind i doubt it i doubt it and if you were so what we all were i was bullied for being a nice person i never intend to turn anyone and i was bullied doesn't mean i'm fucked up about it when i'm 40 right you move on and you should move on from all of this. It fucking wouldn't age you so fast. That's right, Curious Critter. A lot of us have been bullied at some point in our lives. It's not an excuse to be a shitty person like these people are. I try to be a better person because of it. Same. Same. What time is it where everyone is? Just put what time it is. Um, thank you, Miss Madoc. I think I think I know this. You joined it a while ago. I'm sorry, I've got a brain like a bloody serve. It's a drug addict brain, I swear. It's a real thing. You lose sight of memory. Sight of memory. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like fucking Shanny. What time is it where you are? Just let me know, because I want to see, because I prefer to stream in the afternoon anyway, my afternoon. So if people are around for this time. Okay, so that's pretty early. I just want to know, I'm curious, I'm curious. I don't want to be a shitty person. You are I don't want to make people feel bad about who they are and the mistakes they make. It's quarter past five, people you're in to go to sleep. <laughs> and, and you turn people's mistakes right. and you make it seem like that's their whole personality is their mistakes instead of realizing these are flawed human beings who do make mistakes and they deserve mercy and grace Seven like you do 13 is also super early. if you made a mistake do you want a whole horde of people pounding on your door telling okay. you what you're doing Nine is wrong that you're hurting people Go away, Karen. Karen? Karen's being nice. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Karen's just said, Shenny, they're doxing you. Maybe it's time oh. to relocate for your safety. What did Karen do? Nobody's doxing me. 
They have already in the chat. Because nobody knows bro. where I live, first they of all. They have. I'm not going to repeat it because I don't want to dox you, but they have Is already. Is this performance art again? Yeah, yeah. it's performance <laughs> art. We love some performance art. Yeah, it's performance art, what I'm saying. To not bully people. To say not bullying people is performance art, guys. Maybe it <laughs> is, dude. Maybe it is. We don't know. You're strange. Uh, you, you needed that excuse, though. You needed that excuse. This has to be performance art. Am I doing a performance? Am I, am I talking of, of, about something that's witty or, 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 or satire or anything? Yeah. Do you know what performance art is? Yeah. I do. I studied theater. I'm a theater girl. All right, Kimmy, check you out. I love you, girl. It's not even your Kimmy. It's some other Kimmy. They're Philistines. Oh, that's an interesting way how to look at it. Thank you, Gingerbread. They love this shit, Shannon. Yeah. Never change. Yeah. They don't get exactly. it. And never it's will. No. Nah. <laughs> it's bad. No. Nah. They don't very get informative. it. They don't get it. They don't. They don't. They don't want to be good people. That's what it is. At the end of the day, they don't want to be good people. They no, like don't. being horrible people. I don't. Mind while pointing their fingers at other people and ignoring their own bad behavior. Dude. That's fucking. They always try to point out other people's shit that behavior, to you. but not look at their own behavior. My Normal guy. people do not sit in rooms for hours and talk bad about others. Normal what? people have to go to work, what? have to take care of their family, what? and have other things to do. Other than sitting in a room and talking bad to people, okay? If you have all that time to talk shit about others, you're not really living a good life. <laughs> you're not living a proper life. <sighs> wow. You're not happy, certainly, because <laughs> hurt people hurt people. <sighs> if you were happy with your life, if you were happy sincerely with your life you would be living your life offline and enjoying your life instead wow. of worrying what shannon or foodie beauty or stacy is doing all the time wow you're not happy you're miserable and wow. you're taking your miserable you're self hearing this. and putting it on to others the, and causing the a lot of pain and agony is when out there of the shouldn't mouth. be any pain or agony. You're causing people to be miserable. You're causing people to be depressed. You're causing people to feel like I give up in this world. Because you don't show mercy. You don't show kindness. And you don't show love toward others. I just, I just feel like you put on this false. You should be a motivational speaker. Persona. Um, that you're this big tough uh, dude. This is, this is um. And yeah, I'm gonna get that. Hilarious. When all you're doing is perpetuating emotional violence toward others. Yeah. You know all you're doing is perpetuating hate toward others. It's and it's funny to you that you're doing that because you're miserable with your own life. You, you think are, making dude. someone's life miserable or making someone feel bad about themselves help you in any regards? No. 
because you're constantly going to have this on your conscience. I'm a horrible person. I do horrible things to others. You and are. then I try to point my fingers and say they are the horrible ones. But you are a horrible I person. I learn from my mistakes. Do you? Do you? I don't think so. I don't think you have ever. And I don't. I think this is hilarious because it's you talking about other people, not knowing that it's just you. Narcissistic, it applies to. psychopathic. Yeah, that's right, Stacy. They are. They are. And they make you, you miserable. Are. They make me miserable. They make you, you Gina, miserable. Are. And and for the longest time, I allowed these people to get in my psyche. And I and there was a time I took all this abuse, and I really believed what they were saying to me. I actually believed that I was the problem. I wow. believed that there was something wrong with me, why these people can't like me, when that's not true at all. I'm actually a very nice person. I'm a very kind person. I'm a very caring person. Okay. I'm a very strong person. And I like to help people. I like to love people. I like to treat people with respect. But at the same time, there's this point in me, there's this put there, there's this place in me where I just I always think of you as young and hard. You it are. is a sin to me to not speak you up when that. I see people who I love being treated like utter dog hey, shit. Ali, I have to speak you up doing? after that. I had to speak yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nothing really matters. The story like, of my life, they make it seem mm, something wrong with yeah, you, you really but they are the problem. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, life is a music game. How Thank sad you for being feel. here. So powerful Look away. Of people with mental illness or those struggling. I yeah, yeah, they love it. They love seeing someone struggle because it makes them feel better that they don't feel like they're struggling as hard as the other person. And, and here's the thing: they purposely try to get people in situations to cause them to struggle or hurt no, no, even she more. She is like so. There's been nice. so many times where I've had though. these people so pretend to be my friends and say, so nice. "Speak out about this. So much Speak evidence. out about this." And I do. And then with the same breath, they like, "Oh, look at look how she's talking about this person." You see that? But it was your idea, and then you shame me for your idea. Bruh. How dare you? That's tricking someone. That's why I'm not saying anything to anyone anymore. I don't need to. I don't want to deal with fakes. I don't want to deal with frauds. No. I want people who love me, who treat me with respect. Why because you, you know what? I deserve respect. respect. I don't Do hurt you? people. Do I don't okay. go out of my way to hurt people. Okay. No one deserves that disre that kind of disrespect. No one. Okay. But yet you do it on a daily basis. For your own self. For your own selfish intentions. You do it for yourself. You hurt others for you. And then you say they're the bad guys. Nah. You're thugs. We're thugs. You're thugs. Girl. You're thieves. <laughs> you're destroyers of happiness. I think you're giving us far too much. Because when you see these people <laughs> having a we, good um, time on the internet, on the feeling internet. happy, <laughs> the worst one I think is truthfully Trisha. They see she's she's positive. She's encouraging. She's edifying. She's being a good speaker. And what do they do? They bring up her ex. They bring up something that depresses her, and there she is, crying again. And then they're like, I thought you weren't going to bring up this stuff, but they were the ones who brought it up. And who put her in such a miserable Trisha? state in is her head where Bainus? she's crying over the internet. I don't Because know. of the pain she feels over losing people. And you think it's funny, you think it's funny to pick on that woman for crying over losing people. How about you lose people and see how you feel? Will you be like that anymore? Right? 
No, Imagine really never matters. getting bored after doing Look. the same shit forever. I Look. I know, we've all got our thing. We've all got something that has fucked us up in some way. I've got it too. Drugs fucked my brain up. Fried them. Completely fried it. It's fucking broken now. And I can't, like even sitting through something like this, it's a really hard thing to keep concentrated because my brain wants to turn off and go into power saving mode. That being said, I still get shit done. You know, I still do the things that I need to do, even when it's uncomfortable and even when my brain is like, no, I'm checked out. We still do the things that we have to do. Life doesn't stop because because we're we're not dealing with things well that's just not how it works i know some of these people I have been doing it them, for over 10 genuinely. years over a decade oh and some of these people it's almost 20 years now 20 years they've been doing the right. same mentality doing these same things to to different people right okay i don't know who that is i still don't know but I'll, fix I'll do some your digging. heads fix your head bro. go to therapy you too get help okay. for your narcissistic personality disorder you're toxic Stop and you're hurting people. people that don't need to be hurt because they're already hurting inside enough as it is. Seriously. It's genuinely sad. I feel nothing but pity. I do too for them. I do too because it's like they're stuck in this mentality where they're just constantly... I don't like this person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy them. Let's go try to destroy their personal life just so that I feel better. I need to take them down. I don't like them. What the fuck? Oh my god. What is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you with that mentality? Bruh. Stop. Get help. Dude, that's what you're saying to you, man. If you're obsessed with someone that much, get some fucking help. Go to therapy. No. Period. No. If your whole to. life is consumed by hating others and hating on to others, go get therapy. You're not right in the I'm head. I'm actually in There's therapy and my therapist says this in is a your good way head. to express myself. Go find a way how to be happy. Therapy can help you be happy. I am happy. Thank you. Go to therapy. I am. We're happy. I, I'm, I'm happy grateful I'm not them either. Oh my god. I'm so grateful I'm not them. What's sad is these people in real life are healthcare workers, law enforcement, lawyers, therapists, and we're supposed to trust them in online disguising, the, uh, disguising themselves, giving the good ones a bad name. Thank you, Gingerbread. Exactly. No wonder our healthcare system sucks. No wonder law enforcement sucks. And lawyers suck. And the court system sucks. When it's filled with people like you who don't give people the chance to fucking live their lives. But you need to live your life through them. You need to go and judge other people. No, I don't. I'm good. I mean, I judge it's you. It's gross. But otherwise, it's gross. I'm good. You need help. You need serious help. And I hope to God one day one of your family members come to you and tell you you need mental help for a hate obsessing over people instead of leaving them alone. If you hate someone so much, why are you not ignoring them like normal fucking people do? Why are you continuing? Poke, 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 poke. Because you keep reacting. Why so are you pretending that you're this solid person in society while you're harming others who harm no other? I make mistakes in life, yeah. 
But should I forever suffer for my mistakes? No! Maybe. No one should suffer for their mistakes. People who make mistakes, normal fucking mistakes, should grow from it and learn from it. Then you do. You That's should. what mistakes are for. It's for you to grow and learn from. Mistakes are not there for people to point their fucking finger and ridicule you for the rest of your fucking life. That's not what mistakes are for. They're lessons. Human lessons. How to be a better human being. And for some reason, you guys have decided to fail your human being test. You fail your test at being a good, solid, honest, truthful, and integral human being. You fail that test every day every day you open your mouth and pick on someone every day you go online and you pretend you're someone you're not you are failing your human test i am cringing period so hard. you're failing you who doing? you are as a person what is this fool what is the point of this Would you trust a family member being under one of these people's care? No. Scary because it's happened. I did not blow that much money in two years. You don't know how much money I had. Shut the fuck up and mind your fucking business. You're right. It wasn't 770k. It was 750k. Ugh. Gross. You're gross. If you're, you're hating, gross. you're failing. If you're bullying, you're failing being a human. Exactly, Stacy. Do you think These God people. will forgive the trolls? Not if they don't forgive others. These He's not going to forgive them. It says specifically in the Bible, if you do not forgive others, God will not forgive you. Then forgive them. You have to forgive others Hi, in order for God to forgive you. But yet you don't forgive anyone over anything even though it had nothing to do with you. You look at Foodie Beauty and her relationship with Nader, that's all I'm gonna say. And you're constantly judging her on it. Constantly pointing your finger on it. And not even forgiving her. Even though it has nothing to do with you. Exactly. Why are you holding grudges she onto people over face. things that don't even involve you? Why are you hating onto people over actions that don't even involve you? I know. They haven't there touched were so you. Many ways that they he didn't could have call invented. you a name. Um, they didn't treat you disrespectfully. You just saw wealth, that they did something just didn't. that just you didn't it. like. And you go You're off in the UK, amazing. So and hate on them uh, permanently, mine. even though it never involved you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Are you yeah, just exactly. so consumed? Fucking abuse those kids in Jeez. your head that you can't look outside and be like, wait, this person has nothing to do with me. This person doesn't even know I exist. And I'm putting hate on someone to someone who doesn't even know I exist. I'm making fun of someone who doesn't even know I exist. Wow. What a brilliant way how humans have turned out. No wonder the aliens haven't come and picked us up and sent us out into outer space. No wonder. Why would aliens want to have anything to do with, with us you. when we treat our own kind like utter dog shit? For the you sake the of treating them like dog come. shit. They, they just like, no. No. Yeah, exactly. Don't do drugs, kids. They hate because you are they yourself your and don't try to be anyone like but this. yourself. I want to be. Leave Stacy alone. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with her own fucking life. Who are you to judge her? 
Who are you to judge her? Why would you want to be fake? I don't know. I don't have that in my, my mentality. These people, on the other hand, I think the only reason why they want to be fake is so they can fit in. Why would you want to fit into a bunch of fucking assholes? Why do you want to fit into with that? Why? 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 Because it's more people? Foolish. These people in the chat. Foolish thinking. Oh, unwise thinking. Yeah, if they're so willing to talk why, about why others, are you encouraging they're this? willing to talk why about are you. So you. Blind? Did you not learn that in grade school? Again, I'll say it again, since you obviously didn't learn it in grade school. If they're so willing to talk about others, they're willing to talk about you. Okay. That's why I kick everyone out who I notice is bullying others. It's called being smart. It's called <laughs> not allowing people who are toxic it's in your smart, life. Guys. It's called She's setting so boundaries. What are Something we doing? that's We're healthy. Dumb. We're so dumb. Something that's healthy. What's not healthy is talking bad and shit about others. Most right. psychologists know it's not good for them. It's not right. mentally healthy. Those who actually care about their job and not doing it for money's sake, that is. What? It's a lie, Shani. I don't care if it's a lie or not, Stacy. What you do on your own time is none of my own business. You know, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You're beautiful inside and out to me. I love you regardless. She is doing influencer hands. I kind of love it. What a shame to be liked now. on the internet. You have to harass people to be cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? Imagine that. Isn't that gross? If they think they are good like us, if they aren't black souls, we are good. If they compare themselves to us and think they are better, they are delusional. <laughs> That's right. It, gingerbread, I love that. I love that. I'd rather be hated for who I am than to be liked for someone I am not. It's true. I'm the same way. I want to be liked for me. me I don't want to be the... liked because I'm bullying <laughs> this person thing. along with other fucking dumbasses. Would I rather be hated? Would I rather children, be or men, children. Both. I want people to be grown adult about how children. Like I, like I said before, the reason why you are worse than children is because you know better, and you choose not to do better. Dude, you, you know better, and you a still low behave mentality like a and a troll, low energy so what the with fuck? low tactics, planning and plotting against others, and pretending they're the bad guy when they don't plan or plot anything. They just try to be themselves and live their fucking lives. All right, There's well, the big difference. We'll leave you alone. And then they're the bad guys when they Long finally joking. speak out. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. More and more people are seeing through your fucking bullshit. Because you've done this to them, too. Right. And I suggest to everyone who's gone through this to speak up more about it. And to talk about it. And, and tell people what they're doing to you. Because we've been silent. We've been, been good. Yeah, we've been, been silent. Good? And allowed ourselves to be walked on. Allowed ourselves to be lied about. We allowed that. We didn't have to be. We could have been as rambunctious as you folks. We could have screamed your heads She's off. She's practically perfect. And rebuked She's the hell perfect. out of you guys if what, we really she wanted to. Wrong? But no. We know it's what not productive. We know that peace is much better and more productive that being miserable pieces of trash who want to bully people on the internet. We don't want to be like you. We want to be stronger than them. So we hold our tons. Tons. I just don't. Because we I don't want to be like no, you. No, I'm just not buying this. 
Because we know we can obtain better. We can be better. We can act better. We can behave better. Then be better. Then behave better. Then act better. Take some of your own bloody advice. And fucking use it. They must be constantly worried their friends will turn on them. They will go after anyone for the slightest issue. They have to be. They're not really your friends if they're going to go after you over every disagreement you have. If I fuck up, I want you all to call me out. Call me out. Fuck I'm it. the same way, Stacy. I don't make people I mean feel that. like shit on purpose either. Don't condone and I don't my bad plot behavior anything. just because you think you might I don't have plans to attack friends, people you know what I mean? or to find a way how to antagonize them. I don't do that. Most normal wow. people don't No one really matters. That. that is, um... Yeah, quite a, quite a statement from Revelina there. Please, get some help. Get some therapy. You Please get some help. Please, get some therapy. Please. You'll feel better if you get therapy. You'll let all this, like, inner pain you have, obviously, because you're taking it out on others. You'll be able to release it in a positive, focused manner that's not toxic and that's not harming others. You'll be able to allow your pain to be surfaced on someone who gets paid professionally to help you. Go to therapy. You it will first, help you. My guy. Making everyone miserable around you will not help you. I'll continue in the cycle of abuse and hurt yourself and hurt others. Okay. Yeah, Trisha and Stacy know each other in real life. You can't you can't tell Trisha how Stacy is like since Trisha knows Stacy in real life. That's just dumb. That's like that's like you going to G Man and trying to talk shit about me to G Man and expecting him to believe you because he knows how I am personally. Yeah, G Man's the last one. Because he you knows back, me in real life. And he knows he can trust me. He knows he can love me. He knows I'm not going to come on to him and treat him like you some sexual those. being like Fiona did to him. What are you him. chatting? He knows I'm not going to do that. He knows you I'm have. not going to disrespect him. He knows I'm going to value him as my friend. I don't, I don't know, guys. This is, uh... The lack of, lack of self-reflection skills shows so much. And this absolutely... Why do narcissists always gamer. pick like, on borderlines and pretend they know how borderlines are, act? They just have zero self-awareness. Like, it just genuinely is so what bad. What irresponsible behavior have so I bad. done? She is a see you next Tuesday. How am I being irresponsible for telling people to not bully She's others and get therapy to help them over their emotional problems? Oh, it's the borderline thing, huh? Right. Oh my gosh. I know. They love to stigmatize borderlines when our empathy is is super high and we're emotionally more emotionally intelligent than most people. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to say one thing about borderlines because I actually am borderline. So I know these things, okay? I've also looked at it very seriously. You cannot we are not more emotionally intelligent than the average person we're actually not we just experience our emotions very intensely and we spend a lot of time thinking about them but actually eq is not a symptom of bpd it's really not neither is iq 
some of us are just emotionally intelligent and that's normal for everybody but don't fucking spout shit and be like oh well i'm so smart because i'm fucking bpd you're not babe you're fucking not and we're not another all thing, Ron, and we you have empathy, and they don't. Inbred. We don't plan bad shit. We feel guilty. They don't. Exactly. Whenever my borderline affects me, and I have a moment, I feel bad afterwards. I feel bad that I have that reaction. I actually don't think she has BPD, Eileen. I, but like I, I, I said, really I, I only tried to figure it out she's got traits but those traits are completely transferable to something like npd um and you know what at this point i think she even shows um antisocial uh behavior disorder so yeah who the fuck knows who the fuck knows um but i definitely don't think she's she's bpd there's not the there are many symptoms that as BPD people like PPD blah, 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 BPD people people that she doesn't present and I don't think I think she's just she likes that diagnosis um, because it suits her so she gets to say I'm, I'm traumatized I'm injured I'm wounded I'm whatever um, and gets to play the victim but quite frankly I think that she just loves not taking accountability for her actions and the world does revolve around her so you know it sounds way more like um, narcissism and sociop sociopathy than anything else but yeah only get super angry and super pissed and have that borderline uh, problem where I, I explode is only when I'm pushed too far. It's never done intentionally. It's only done when I'm pushed too far. It's only it's only done when I feel like I'm being treated unfairly and not treated right like I should be treated. Like you should be treated. Who should treat you like that? Who should treat you like that? I definitely do think she has a hoarding disorder. I definitely do. They never like, but then again, us borderline they get triggered. That's why them. they target us, narcissistic so people. I yeah, think they find the, the trick. The living in excess and the not caring about the place that you live speaks more to like a narcissism than it does to hoarding. Um, because if if they were hoarding, they would take the stuff with them. It would mean more than it does. And I think that they just live in excess and they live on this kind of fucked up little plane um and where it doesn't like they can just buy things and those things have no value um or they have value for a very short time so i'm not i'm not quite sure but look i'm not a psychiatrist i can't fucking diagnose anybody trigger in happy they laugh about the triggering of borderlines when they don't realize what kind of emotional pain they're putting the borderline through. Do you realize when you trigger a borderline, you're actually triggering all this emotional pain? Every, everything that happened to them in their life, all the bad things, all the abuse, they fucking she does it have all an comes back all at once. And then I they fucking do. release it. Um, That's but... what you see. It's like a slingshot. Uh, yeah. She's she's got a complex you know, mixture. You, you just, of a just lot of pull it back um, more and more and more right. more she's, more. She's just really mentally until, ill. Boom! You get all that um, energy back at you. To like that a, you threw a, back at the borderline. Asshole. That's exactly how borderlines um, act. So, but it has to be you to push the borderline yeah. for the borderline to react. Most borderlines are very empathic and they don't like to take their pain out on others. But if you push, why are you expecting a, a little fairy to come out instead of a big growling dragon? You're talking to people who are traumatized. You're talking to people who have problems, I don't think, I, I don't who think are that abused she's truly... as children.
traumatized in the way that she would suggest. I think she's had trauma, um, but I don't believe necessarily that uh, she's been as traumatized um, as she as she suggests she has. I think I think something happened to her when she was young, and that was horrible. But yeah, I don't think. I don't think she's experiencing the kind of trauma that she suggests she is. Hello, I'm because that's what borderline personality disorder is. Early Thanks for joining. childhood trauma. Those people who were abused and invalidated as children. And it hurts. It hurts. Shut up, Lacey. That's not true at all. I'm telling people to stop doing this. I'm not saying I'm addicted to it. I'm not. Take your stereotype somewhere else. You know nothing of borderline personality disorder. You know nothing of it. Exactly Liar. Matters. We've all been traumatized. You all have to go through it. You don't have um, to live through it. We do, do. You don't have to we be through to. it. You don't have to have the emotional pain flash back to you. People have enough of getting poked and finally lose it, and then they blame us. Exactly. Actually, lots of borderlines are healthy functionality and have very minimal outbursts. Exactly. Especially those of us who have taken DBT, dialectic behavior therapy, because we behavior. learned how to finally cope because our parents didn't teach us how to cope. Instead, our parents taught us abuse and invalidation and, and, and not being able to accept. Genuinely stop spreading misinformation. Please stop spreading misinformation. Most BPD has nothing to do with parents. It has to do with genetics and environment. And yes, I think your parents are involved in an environment, but we're, our brains are just made differently. And suffering from BPD is not on always on the parents. There are other things that control it. I think mine was a mixture. And I think my bullying as a young child from other young children and older people was a huge piece of the puzzle. Um, yes, my relationship with my parents was dysfunctional. Yes, I was neglected as a child. But I certainly don't think that they are the sole... And I don't think this is true for a lot of people. I think a lot of people are not influenced like that and a lot of people are it's just genetic it's just the way your brain was formed um but yeah i also don't believe that your parents abused you i'm just saying i just don't believe that they did not in the way that you say they did they might have neglected you um but i don't think they abused you in the way that you say express ourselves or how we feel without feeling like there's something wrong with us you know nothing You know right, nothing. Life is a music exactly. Yes, we just love that we suffer childhood trauma and have to be reminded for our entire lives. Exactly. exactly. Really I mean. Oh, look at this! Someone I'm making sorry, fun of DBT. Like that. I think that's, that's diarrhea, horrible, bowel and, toxicity. Um, no, it's like, dialect behavior therapy. Yeah, I'm sorry. And it was vented um, by this beautiful childhood. woman. I don't think she had who same. suffers from borderline in, personality in disorder herself because she yeah, was abused I don't, I don't believe they by did. her parents. I like, yeah, I really don't believe she was abused as a child. It doesn't make sense. One hundred percent neglect. Sense. I didn't talk until I was twenty-five. I was in free state, afraid to talk because of trauma and bullying. I hear you, Stacy. I hear you. It is abhorrent making fun of mental illness, isn't it? It's so gross. 
DBT is a lifesaver for more than just people with borderline. It's really effective for many mental health issues. Yeah, I wish they would and, change and it's also DBT not, in like, school. At so, I went through DBT therapy. I went to a clinic and did a two-week program on DBT. Uh, that was the longest period they offered on it. So, and I went through and I learned all the steps and I tried to put it into practice and it just didn't work for me. Not, not in the same way that psychodynamic therapy works for me um i don't practice any of the skills because it's just not it's just like the temperature thing doesn't help um and there's more than just the temperature thing but they don't work in the same way for everybody dbt is just another form of therapy so is cbt so is schema therapy so is psychodynamic therapy they're just uh, they're just possible options for therapy but if it doesn't work for you I don't think one is superior to the other I think that they're multifaceted and they help different people in a lot of way um, so yeah I don't she's like she only knows about DBT and that's what and she hasn't even learned to properly but she she only knows about dbt that's why she's speaking about it if she knew about other aspects there's not just cbt and dbt if she knew that there were other aspects to it she'd fucking rant about those too but bpd and dbt are not mutually exclusive friends it doesn't always work like that well actually i think it could help a lot of children and a lot yeah, of people I, to, to feel better hard. emotionally i've known i've it's known hard, people Aaron. who and have um, that. A uh, bipolar I mean, disorder, and they really got struggle, help through DBT. Like you struggle to ask for help. It's a human thing. Never negate the power of medication. Now, I'm a huge medication person. I take over 11 um, meds a day. Um, different type of meds. I don't even know how many I take in total. But I obviously am a special case because I'm not allowed to take anything that's... Um, addictive or has addictive properties in it because i'm an addict in recovery but still an addict so i have to treat around the problem but you have to treat around the problem anyway with bpd because there's no there's no treatment for it you can't take in you know a bpd pill and it works it's not like that but therapy is a good one good aspect um Medication is a good aspect. If you're anti-medication, you're anti-medication. It can be done without it, but I don't, like, the advice she's giving is so one-sided. It's so, like, this works, so do this. No, don't. Don't. Speak to a healthcare professional. That's what you need to do. Like, don't take advice from Shani or me, bruh. Don't listen to me. I'm full of shit. How do I deal with these evil people? I do what I do. I say what I say and I tell them to stop the nonsense. That's how I deal with it. I tell them they can be better than what they are. Because they can. They just choose not to be better people. And they can be better people. You all can be better than what you are. I can be better it's than what I am. A cultural thing. I um, can do better than what I. I know we've than got, this. Um, I can do better. Many cultures in South Africa, but the Afrikaans culture, which is predominantly white, also doesn't see um, mental health as a thing. So, you know, it's there's just certain cultures and communities that don't see mental health as a thing, and it's actually it's really sad. Better. I really agree with you. No one really matters. I can. We all can improve. You. We all can go and 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 realize that peace is far more greater than hatred. Far greater. You don't need more. That peace is the way to go. That love is the way to go. Not hatred. Not defaming people. Not this constant exposing people. Oh, thanks, Shaw. I'm glad I could offer this perspective. It's all fun and games until it happens to you, good though. One thing. And then you play <laughs> victim. Oh, look at Shani talk bad about me. I didn't say your name, but... Hey. You want to put yourself in that group? It sounds like you're a little convicted and feeling a little bit guilty. Oh. 
Because I don't go out of my way to hurt others. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt anyone. I want people to be happy. I want people to be in peace. I want my haters to feel peace. No, you don't. My guy. Because if they felt peace, if they felt at peace, they wouldn't be hurting others. They wouldn't be in so much turmoil. And it's I'm sad. I feel bad for them. I'm quite okay. Because they have I to be my stuck this in that morning. mentality of just bashing people. It breaks my heart. Like, uh, you want to see people do better, and, 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 and yet it's just like, one disappointment after another disappointment after another disappointment. Yeah, when she be gets better, in her, like, you can't be better. I'm. Why superior. can't you be better? I know everything. It's very annoying. Thank you, Zach. Like, just be better. Imagine how great this world would be if people would use the energy of kindness and helping others instead of being cruel and harassing others. Exactly. You. No one really matters. That I can't do it, hectic. man. I can't imagine ever saying that to my child. I mean, I don't have children, but. That one channel said you were diabetic. Oh, I can't imagine my mom ever doing that to me either. I would just be. Well, I never was wild. diagnosed with diabetes. You probably do have diabetes. But they enable some people that do have diabetes while saying I have diabetes and I don't because so, I was never diagnosed with it. Because you haven't been to a it's doctor though. You're just a raw person, Shady. Yeah, Mary, I agree. I don't think she has hard to deal with. Why? I genuinely don't. Why? Why is it so hard to deal with someone real and raw? Why? Don't you want? Don't you like real? <laughs> You're. So, it's so easy for you to be cruel to others, but when you see someone who's just being themselves, oh no, you have a problem. You do have it's a weird, problem. Weird, dude. Though. It's weird. You do have a problem. <laughs> Because and another part of your problem fake. is that all these people God, in the chat are enabling you. You don't have to be fake. You you think being fake you're gonna you're gonna have this like false people following you and being your. Alright, I'm gonna say this because it's nearly finished and I'm fucking mad now. You think you are so much better than us. You really do, and you still think that even today. You are holier than thou. How on earth? Can you stand to be in a world with such plebs when you reign supreme? I honestly swear, it's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I do not condone your behavior. I think your behavior is absolutely shocking. I think you are far too old to be behaving in this way. Like, how do you not see that you, Shani, are just like us, the unfortunate plebs at the bottom of the barrel just swimming to survive. How, how do you not see that? You think you're so good. You think you're so smart. You, like... Huh, get over yourself. Grow up. Someone said grow up in the chat. And I fucking agree. Grow up. Friend, and, and here you are miserable about yourself because you can't even be who you are. Nah, nah, nah. No, it's not I, I mean, there's going to be a it's time in your life where right? you're like, what am I doing with my life? I don't even know who I am she anymore. She pretends she has BVD because the other diagnoses are not really palatable. So they don't paint her as the victim. But in actual fact, she's never cringe, been checked but at for least it. I'm free. I doubt she has. She's never like been checked that. for anything. I'm sorry, Marion. If you need to take time, then take time. Go watch someone else. All right, take like care of yourself, this. girl. I'm sorry she triggered you. You need to take care of yourself. Love yourself. Love others. <laughs> don't be like them. That's all I can say is don't you be miserable them. pieces of Shame. crap like them. Be better. You are them. 
Don't be picking on people on the internet because you don't like them. Just stop watching. Bruh. Stop putting on content if you are so good. It's amazing that you know who you are and are happy being yourself, dude. Who said that? All I know is that- Why who would I want to be like You're other people? Liar. You're just as dumb as she When is. I can be who I am. Yeah, like, I, I honestly, you are a does individuality You're not matter anymore in this world? It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be you, to be real. What shit it's are you okay. chatting now? You just told us we need to change and now it's okay for us to be That's asked. who you're meant to be is yourself. What the fuck? You are so fucking You're meant to be yourself. You're meant- you were made in this world to be you. To love you. Bruh. Love yourself enough to be an original. Cause originals, they stand out. But you're standing like everyone else and being miserable along with yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, do you absolutely. really want to fit in with a miserable she is crew? Or you could- you like... could live and be yourself. Who cares if other people don't like you for you being real? At least you're real. They're not. At least you're you. At least you're doing what you desire instead of what others expect from you and desire from you. Be you. Be yourself and love yourself. Look, I don't like Riv, but... I'm gonna go with Stacy too, because I'm getting tired too, Riv man. is... Just as much of an enabler as everybody. Go else. love more, hate less. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Say no, I'm not gonna hate on someone anymore. No, I'm gonna that's move really on with fucked. my life. Aaron, that's fucked. Challenge yourself to be kind to people. Peace and Maranatha. Yeah, whatever, my guy. Whatever. <sighs> whatever. Just whatever. Yeah, I'm 100 percent a bitch. I'm gonna do it. Whatever. Right, so I was gonna do this, but this is a bit long. I do I do have to go. But before I go, I don't wanna leave everybody thinking like this and make everybody sad. Let's watch some crazy African preachers. And we can watch this because I'm African. So we're gonna have some fun, end it on this good note, and um, then go off and have a good day. Eating grass may seem like an unorthodox way to show your religious devotion. But for members of the Raboni Center Ministries Bruh. in Hurankura, South Africa, grazing on greenery is a key house. part of their <laughs> spiritual practice. Wake up! <laughs> Still up! Why are they just kids? Why are they kids okay, I see off? food outside. Look at that. Look at that food. Okay, go and eat. Go and eat. Go eat outside. Go eat the grass. Go quickly. Eat quickly. Today, no time. No time. You eat quickly. If your husband is there, your wife is there, they are eating life. There will be resurrection. What is this? Will they die after this? Will we see death? Maybe. Life. What do we call it? Life. Some people uh, this are one wild. eats a lot. Eh? <laughs> Look fuck? at the small one. Look at the mama. Come back! Come back! Quickly, run! Come back quickly. If Jesus turned water into wine, we are turning the grass into spaghetti and mince. <laughs> the grass into spaghetti and mince. <laughs> Roger Barros, watch another dangerous, mysterious oppression by the major one. Watch him lifting up the whole woman, this good woman. According to the direction of the Holy Spirit, Christianity is not religion. Watch us scream. Watch what the one is doing. This is Mr. and strange to those of you. 
If you are living in Canada, that is the power. That is the power. Shit. This is mystery. Do not try it at home. Do not try this at home. Don't. This is dangerous. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> Go back, Jesus. I can get if you love power. If you love power. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. That is the man of power. This is dangerous. The kingdom talks power. Power brings upon evidence. Dealing with the principalities. For this is the purpose the Son of Man was made manifest. The image is with the forces of prayer. Watch him another one. Watch the power again. The world heavy the world chapter of the wayside. Watch him. So, this is fuel. Thank you, Lukwani. If it is fuel, it will Finally, look on it. burn quickly. It had to go now. Yeah, it's it's so I'm turning it into a pineapple juice. Give it a lot of pineapple juice. I'm turning it into pineapple. Give it a lot of pineapple juice. The word is upon it. Live for the Holy Bahayon. How is it? There's a lot of fumes, uh -huh. but I don't have any uh, side effect. You feel fine? <laughs> yes. Sorry, you feel not fine? Fine. yes. Pineapple juice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong you want to drink man? pineapple juice? <laughs> okay. No, that's oil. That's fresh up, like petrol. Oh, uh, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Is it nice? How does it taste like? It's sweet. Is it sweet? Is it nice? What's going on? Religion's crazy. How is it? How is it? Is it nice? Is it nice? Huh? No, man. Is it nice? What's EST? Oh, man of God, you want to taste it? Don't feed that to people. That is straight up gasoline. Is it nice? Ah, oh, it's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's been. You wanted the container. It's finished. Religion's what does it taste like? Nice. <sighs> How is it? Yo. Yeah. It's nice. Yo. Yeah. The blood. Huh? The blood. It's like the blood. Ow. You still want, you want to even eat the bottle? I'm not a witch. I'm a witch for Jesus. I'm a witch for Jesus. I'm my own witch is for Jesus. You are a foul right. devil. Okay. Do you know who you are talking to? Foul devil. <laughs> Where did he join witchcraft? I'm not a witch. Who are you? But I'm a witch for Jesus. Jesus I mean, has no witches. You are a devil. She's a witch for Jesus. You are not set for deliverance and you are free to go to hell. It's okay. He also no, dispenses really blessings okay. by commanding his followers to eat strange things, as Checkpoint saw firsthand on a visit to the church. This is that? God. But the no. God's power can turn anything to food. No. But it was the feeding of animals to his flock mm. that attracted the attention of the authorities. These animals God made them for us to eat. Amen. Although the past oh, don't, don't eat it, don't eat it. Come on, it's still alive. Proof. It's still the alive. Snakes and other animals were alive oh. when they became spiritual meals. No. In the absence no. of I such can't. evidence, can't. the charges can't. had to be can't. withdrawn. I can't. After his, I can't. this news get, this morning comes out of Zambia. And as per the Zambian observer, it says 27 confirmed dead, 18 in critical jig. condition after drinking jick in church. It's bleach. In the name of casting out demons. What the Of fuck? the dead, two of them were nurses and oh. four were teachers. Oh, I no. hope that the authorities lock this pastor up. He needs to be made an example. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Jesus. And let us know you. anymore no 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 now the guy will climb on the loudspeaker and then jump on his church members hey whoa and he will post the photo on facebook last week he drove his car on top of his church members yes what he told them to lie down he put some pali on top of them what? <laughs> he put some cardboard paper on top of them he had them lying down on the ground and he drove on top of them ah, the guy drove on top of them and then he asked them how they felt he said did you feel any pain they said no and that is what they were told to say anyway so guess what he did he reversed back still on top of this ah, ah, he went back and forth on top of these people yeah and then they got That's up the and they started dancing I think I think come All my six come Yes 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 All my six All my six My six come Shit not coming I want to pray for you This is fucked up. Thank you for that. Very exciting. <laughs> So guys, I expected that to be not as fucking weird as it was, but what was I expecting, truthfully, honestly? Right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, please like the video. And yeah, if you want to follow me on my socials, you can. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, my PayPal is Sam with three M's dot I dot M with three M's at gmail.com. But don't worry if you can't. I can buy my own coffee. Um, thank you guys for being here. And you're all heckin' amazing. I love you. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.